Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. We have seen how the application works when everything goes right. What about when we do a mistake? For example, suppose I do not enter the correct credentials to log in, then what happens? Well, let me try this. We get this error. So let's go into the login controller and see what happens in line 19. So in the line 19 right here, it tries to get the role of the user, but as you can see here, it cannot because it is null. So this means that we are handling the case when everything goes right, but when something goes wrong, we do not handle that. Because of this, I will use an if else. So if and then else. So inside the if, we want to check if the authentication is correct. So inside the if, I will pass this. And if the authentication is correct, then we continue as we used to. So I will take all this code and pass it right here. So if the authentication is correct, then get the slag, the role of the user. And if the slag is admin, then redirect to earnings. If the slag is manager, then redirect to tasks. So if the authentication was not correct though, so the credentials were not matched, then we want to return, redirect, and we want to redirect the user back to the login page. The only difference is that this time we want to pass an error. So I will say here with, and then we pass an error with the message wrong credentials. Of course, if I go now back and I try this again, as you can see, we are redirected back, which is good. So we do not see any more that ugly page. However, we do not have a message here that says wrong credentials. So in order to do that, we will open the login page, the login view. And after the CSRF field, I want to add a new div here. The class will be alert, alert danger, because this is an error. And here I want to check. So before this one, I want to say if session and then I pass the error. So we want to check if we pass back. So if when we are redirected back, we pass the error, then we want to see if we have this available. And if it is available, then the credentials that the user entered were incorrect. So if the credentials were incorrect, then we want to output this error. So we want to say here a session, and then we output the error. And of course, we have to close this if and if. Perfect. So now we will go back and try this again. I will enter some wrong credentials and here it is, wrong credentials. So now you get the error message. And of course, if you log in with the correct credentials, then you should be all right. So let's try this. Now I want to point something else. So I will log out and I want you to go to the database and open this throttle table right here. As you can see, this has a couple of entries. So what I want you to do is to delete all of them. So now this table is empty. Now let's go back to authentication and let's try to log in again, but with the wrong credentials. So something completely random. So if I press enter, now we get this wrong credentials message. And if I refresh this, you will see that now we get two new entries here. One is of the type global and the other one is of the type IP. I want you to make five more incorrect attempts. Five more, so two, three, four, five, six. So let's take a look now again at the table and we should have six entries for IP here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now if I try to log in again, once again, with the incorrect credentials, of course, take a look. We now are banned for 840 seconds. In my case, it is 840. In your case, it might be a bit less than that. But in any case, we are banned, so we can now not access this account anymore. So this is some kind of security that we have, and this is good because imagine a user, a hacker, trying to find your password. If you do not have 
a checkpoint like this one, a throttle checkpoint, then the hacker could find the password after, of course, many attempts, but in the end, the hacker will find the password. So this prevents hacking to any account. Now, the only problem is that we get this ugly page here. So instead, we want to get a message like this one, for example, right? We will see how we can do this in the next video, and we will also have a deeper look at throttles.